All right, so I just installed a bagger on my mower that was in a different video, and I'm gonna now replace the blades. There's three blades. It's a 48 inch deck mower, and these three blades came with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace those on the deck right now. So what I've done is uh, the brake is engaged on my mower, so it's not going anywhere. I dropped the deck all the way down with that handle right there so you could see it's on the ground. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this belt right here. So what I've noticed is you could just um, pull the belt real quick and just start looping it around and it comes right off. Alright, so I'm going to take some needle nose pliers now and I'm going to start taking off these little cotter pins. You can see there's one right here. After the cotter pins out, you want to push this bar out of the hole. Like that. Now we need to take out uh, that one right there. There we go. And then you want to pull that piece off also. And there is, a, there is a washer that just fell off that I need to make sure I get. And then I need to take this one off. Take off the washer and pull that off of there. Okay, and it's also a good idea to go ahead and take this off. You you loose, loosen it, twist it, and you can see it just pulls right out. And then you want to do the same on the other side. So you want to get this one right here again that one right there it's hard to see it's kind of dark and I'm gonna go ahead and do those I'm gonna turn off the camera okay so now I'm gonna pull the deck out and don't forget your other washer all right so I'm gonna clean this up and then uh, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to change the, the belts because I just put a bagger on and I need to make sure that the blades that go on this are the correct blades for the bagger. They're the high lift blades. Okay, so we've, we've moved the, the mowing deck over here to the water because it was just really dirty on the bottom. In fact, some of the grass was stuck to it so bad it looked like part of the deck. But you can see it's still a little bit wet. I'm going to take off the three blades here. For some reason, my blades are not the same size um, nut. So this one is a 15 16 and these two both are uh, 18 millimeter. So uh, if that happens to you, just make sure you get the right tool, take them off. So I don't have a block of wood. Normally you want to put a block of wood in here to secure the blade so it doesn't go when you're taking the, the bolt or the nut off. I don't have that, so I just put a shovel in here you can see it won't go past that. I've already started it. I've already started loosening it. So I'm just gonna do this and take it off. And then uh, you can see there's a star pattern. So you can see there's a star pattern right there. You want to make sure that on your replacement blade you also have that. So here's our replacement blade. Here's our old blade. Make sure that you also put it in the right way. So you could see this is the cut side, this is the regular side. The blade came off just like this. Make sure we put the blade on just like that. So the best thing to do is to take off one at a time, put the new one on as you take off, and then you shouldn't have a problem. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that you line the star pattern up on the, the bolt of the deck, and then you just wanna tighten down 
the nut. And of course you're gonna need something to wedge it to really get it tight. I'm gonna use my shovel again in a different direction. Well, I'll figure out a direction here in a minute. Here we go. There we go. Do the same with the other two. Uh, I'm not going to videotape that because I think it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's just like this one. So do the same with the other two. And then we're going to flip the deck over and put it back. So when you're done, this is what it should look like. Okay, you can see that the deck is completely cleaned off. Everything's been put back together. Now what we're going to do is slide it up underneath the mower. So here we go. Okay, now we're going to take all of the stuff that we took off and we're going to reconnect them. Um, so I hope you've located where your washers are and all the other parts. So here's this. We're going to put it in like that and you just, you take it, you go sideways and then turn up. And you can see that's on there. And then you want to take this piece. You might have to move yours around like I am. Put it back up there. And then we're going to need the washer. Right here. Okay, so you put the cotter pin in. Alright. Then you want to do the big one. All right, then you want to do the next one. Now we're looking at the front. When I took this off, I didn't realize until I looked into all the grass on the ground, there's actually, um, I don't know if you could see it real well with my gloves in a way. Hold on. There's actually a washer that came off. So I'm going to put that back on. So here we go, you take this piece, slide it into place, put the washer on, like that. Okay, so you put that in, just like that. I don't know if you could see that good, there we go. This part, to put the belt back on, the best thing to do is just, just take two hands and pull it and then slip it on and it may be kind of tough to slip on so you take a screwdriver and you just help it help it stay kind of taut and slowly turn this and eventually it will slip on I don't need the screwdriver now I could just turn and it should slip on There we go. So the belt is back on. Now there may be an easier way to do this, but that's the way I found out how to do it. Okay, now go ahead and install the other clips on the other side. I'm not gonna show that because I just did it. And you should be all done. All right, I wanna thank my son Asher for getting all the tools that I needed for this project and for also making sure to hold the camera steady when I needed two hands to do the work. Thanks, Asher. You're welcome. Say bye YouTube. Bye YouTube. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, please uh, give us a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe. Check out our other videos. Thanks.
If you also received high lift blades that you need to install to your mower to make this bagger work properly, we've created another video for that. There will be a link at the end of this video or you can check out our channel to find it.